Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we've got another uh, exciting new project for me, something I've never done before. Um, I'm gonna play around with a little bit of resin. So um, I just did that uh, little ash pot and um, then I had, you know, a friend of mine saw that video and uh, said, man, I could really use one of those to put my salt in on the dinner table. So um, I had another piece of that scrap left over and um, I wanted to play around with some resin. It had a pretty big crack in it. You can see right there, just a really large crack. So I, I poured some resin um, just using this Aluminolite Amazing Clear Cast. I got this at Hobby Lobby. Um, and then I ordered up these mica powders on Amazon and um, used a root beer brown to mix it up, pour it in this crack to fill it, and then let that sit. Um, this has actually sat for little over a week now probably about a week and a half um, for this piece and uh, so it should be getting dry by now um, so I'm gonna try to turn a salt cellar out of this this is another piece of ash off of that same ash pot this is actually the wood that uh, Double D over at Tornage de Bois sent me for the uh, YouTube Crash Channel Challenge Fogwood Challenge so um, making good use of that Daniel Appreciate it a lot. So a couple things to note here. Um, this video is being filmed in late June and here in the Pacific Northwest <laughs> we are experiencing an ungodly heat wave. Um, it's supposed to be triple digits uh, starting tomorrow for the next three days or so and uh, my garage is extremely hot. Um, it's crazy hot in here so I'm gonna kick on the little DeWalt fan and uh, Keep that thing trying to move some air through here because uh, man it's kind of miserable in this garage but um, I've been really needing to turn this I, I I have to give it to the person that asked for it um, in another week and a half so I'm running out of time to get this project done and then have it ready for when I see them next so I want to get it done and um, today's the day so it's gonna happen so I'm gonna go check this up between centers we're going to start making it round, get a tenon on it, and um, and then we'll start making this into another pot um, so that uh, it can be, yeah, so that it can be a salt cellar. So let's see how this goes. Let's go over to the lathe. Okay, we got it chucked up between centers. Um, I'm going to try to shape this thing round, get the ends squared off, put a tenon on each end, and uh, hopefully not sweat to death in the process. Man, it's hot in here.
So it doesn't look like my resin filled that crack very well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it with the Starbond medium and then come at it with the accelerator and see if I can't fill that in just with the Starbond. Because um, the resin seems to have shrunk down in there pretty far and I'm not real happy with that. I can get a fingernail in there. I don't, I don't really like that. So let's see if we can fix her up. Okay, I don't know if that filled it or not. I still feel like I can get my fingernail down in there, but um, maybe it's just going to be what it is. So it really seems like all my resin either soaked into the wood or just uh, shrunk back in there. You know, I've never done a resin pour before. This was my very first one. I was It was more of a, an experiment than anything else just to see what would happen. So I don't know. I, we're, we're just going to have to turn it and see what it looks like. So I'm going to part the lid off of this thing. And then we'll start working on hollowing out the body and then we'll come back put the lid in the chuck and work on it so let's get it parted off and get to work on that
all right guys there you have it one ash salt cellar um, I haven't finished the bottom yet because I got it sanded up to 400 grit I want to sign it and then I'll go ahead and finish the bottom of it and I'm still debating whether or not I'm gonna finish the inside of it you know the theory of a salt cellar is that the wood will draw moisture away from your salt so you put your salt in here and set it on the dinner table and then your salt doesn't turn into a rock right so I'm afraid that if I finish this um, it may block that from happening but I also think that I kinda wanna finish it so I'm not sure I gotta do a little bit of research on that but um, but there we go the ash salt cellar is done um, I think my friend will really appreciate this and uh, hopefully it gets a lot of use so if you guys are new here make sure you subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is coming and if you enjoyed this project give it a thumbs up share it with your friends we'll see you in the next video thanks a lot